Yo, what's good, what's good, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up, man? Appreciate y'all for tapping in. We back in the building. Y'all already know what time it is. We back here to serve some more game on the ground for them on ground. Just got the pounder ready for the next round, man. And this topic might be uh, a little off topic. Not off topic, but a bit controversial. Make sure you interact off the jump. You're not engaging enough. Gotta interact with the audience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I gotta work on that. But, um... This topic might be a little, I guess you could say, a little controversial. I don't really know. I don't know, but um, at the end of the day, man, I, I be speaking on what I see. And this right here that we're going to talk about here in a minute it is it's pretty sad, to be honest. You know, it's pretty sad. And it, it goes to show you where we are as society, you know. Uh, I guess you could say in the legal system. But at the end of the day... One only one person can just, you know, speak on what they see and keep moving. But uh, yeah, man, I hope everybody's had a good day today. My day's been pretty good. My day's been pretty all right, you know. Pretty pretty regular day, average day in the regularly scheduled program. You know, there's not really much different about today as there is any other day except for waking up and getting on the grind. You know, doing what you're supposed to do as as an adult. You know, a lot of people struggle with that. And uh, it sucks when you try to help them and they don't see it, that they need help. But uh, let me know where you guys are come, uh, 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 viewing from, you know, where you guys are tapping in from. Uh, I've always thought it was interesting how we can all be on different parts of the world and still tap into the same exact program uh, at different time zones, you know. It's crazy. When you, when you really think about it, it's kind of like looking through a portal that you can't really reach through, you know. I've always thought that that was interesting. So let me know down there in the comments below. Um, and yeah, man. Let me know what time it is for you guys where you're at too, you know, um, while we're getting this light goal. Hey, from Oklahoma. Hey, what's good? We got Oklahoma in the house, man. It's the first Oklahoman I've ever seen in alive, man. That's crazy. Shout out to Oklahoma. But um, let me know what time it is for y'all down there too, you know. Uh, right now, currently for me, it is 716. Mm. And Mountain Dew hits different, man. That's all I can say is Mountain Dew hits different. But, um. We gotta hit a thousand likes before we get started. We're almost there. You know, we need uh how many do we need? Same time, yep, yep, yep. We're almost there, man. We need just uh less than fifty more likes before we can st we get started on this topic. But uh with that being said, we just we have just reached our like goal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this, man. This is right here is it's it's sad when I see stuff like this. Cause it just goes to show where we are, you know, in society. Um a man legally changed his gender to gain custody of his kids and this and there's certain groups who are concerned uh, a man in Ecuador I think that's how you pronounce the word or the name I don't want to I hope I didn't just butcher it Ecuador legally changed his uh, gender to female in an attempt to gain custody of his two daughters but certain groups are concerned about the man's use of a law designed to promote uh, certain people rights and what effect it could have in the future see that don't make no sense that don't make no sense but Rene Salinas Ramos 47 told local media that the change was not related to his identity or his other you know but rather that the Ecuadorian legal system gives preferable rights to mothers over fathers when it comes to the custody of children the law says that the one who has the right is the woman as of this moment, I am female. Now, I am also a mom. That's how I consider myself. Selena's uh, told Lavaz Del... I'm not even going to read that because I'm not going to butcher it. Outside the city registry office on December 30th in the city of Quinza. I think I hope I didn't just butcher that name. I am very sure of my, you know what, you know, y'all know how TikTok be. Um, <clears throat> what I have sought is that I want to be a mother so I can also give the love and protection of a mother. And I'm going to just say this right now. It is a shame the lengths that men have to go through just to be able to have their own children. You know, nowadays the system just sees men as just a creature, another creature. You know, somebody who, who's too toxic or, or too abusive or whatever the case may be. And I'm sorry for the interruption, y'all, but... It's a shame when you think about it because there are men out there who just want to have their children and the system doesn't care because they're a man, 
you know, the system is highly against men, and this just goes to prove it right there, and it's a shame, when you see a man having to go to lengths like this, um, people will do anything for their kids, exactly, people will do anything for their kids, but it's a shame when you have a system built that forces you to go to lengths like this to get your kids, you shouldn't have to change, legally change the kind of person that you are, you know, just to be able to have your own children, that should be a right to, to, to anybody who has kids, you know, and if, uh, um, co-parenting is a thing, you know, a lot, co-parenting is a thing, your children deserves the right to know both your, their mother and their father, no matter what, you know, um, and if they need to see them from behind bars, and maybe they need to see them from behind bars, but guess what, they still are able to see their mother or their father if they're behind bars, you know, um, but the system has tried to take the, the father out the house so much to the point to where men are doing stuff like this to get their children back, and that, that is a shame, man, when I see stuff like that, everybody just turns a blind eye to it because, you know, they're a man. You know, they can they can handle it. They're a man. That's why everybody turns a blind eye to it. And it's, and it, and it's a shame, you know. We need, we need to have a system that advocates for both men and women and not just one or the other. And that's 100% facts and not opinion. We need a system that advocates for men and women and not one or the other because... It's not the man or the woman that, that gets affected by it the most. It's the it's the child because the child is being taken being taken away from from uh 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 what's good Anthony Dewberry clips. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. Make you a mod. Add moderator. Boom, just like that. But um it's the child that, that gets uh harmed uh in between all this fighting between the mother and the father. And the system doesn't do anything to help that. You know, the system doesn't do anything to help the child at all. You know, a shout out to every single one of y'all who up here in the building right now, man. We got 141 people. Hey, mods, uh, 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 I need y'all to screenshot this, man. Screenshot this right now. We got 164 people. Comedy show tonight. We finna show out square business. That's 100% facts and not opinion, man. <clears throat> Dang, we got over 200 people, man. I need every, I need Miles to screenshot this, man, and send it to me. This is crazy, man. Shout out to every single one of y'all who are tapping into this program right now, man. You guys are, you guys are the best, man. You guys are the bomb. But um, yeah, man. We, what I, I've seen children, uh, I've seen children. My guy Max told told me about you, man. Yeah, I, yeah, he be talking to me about you all the time, but um. I have seen children get affected by this war that goes on between a, a mother and a father who are separated. And the system, the system, the way I see this is the system are those people who start a war in their own country and fund both sides, you know, profit off of the destruction of their own people. That's how the system is. The system starts a war. I didn't get the TikTok game yet. I'm scared to go live. Oof, that's tough. But, uh, you get it, man. But, um, uh, I didn't get it either when I first started. But the system divides the mother and the father and then profits off of their war between each other while the child suffers. You know, the child suffers because the child doesn't want nothing more than to have a relationship with the mother and the father, you know. I have been there. I've lived with absent parenting, you know, for half of my life. Not absent parents, but absent parenting. There's a difference. Um... You know, and it, it's just the way that the system is built that it forces parents to do certain things that, that, that keeps them from being able to spend as much time with them as they should be, you know. It's a shame when you see stuff like this. I, I've seen kids who, who were good kids grow up to be kids that are, that act like they're for the streets, you know. I've seen good kids go up to, you know, start rolling up joints and, and thinking that they're gangster at the ages of 13 and 14 years old, you know, it, it's a shame because what are we, what's really going on? You know, what are we, what, what are we doing? What are we doing wrong? You know, uh, one thing I can tell you right now that needs to stop is, uh, uh, sleeping around with everybody that you find on the corner. 
Because next thing you know, all by the way of the industry and old cats like WAC 100, that's 100% facts. But um, when y'all be sleeping with everybody that y'all find on the corner, it creates a, a, a responsibility, you know, because people are so obsessed with pleasure that when they get pregnant, they don't want the responsibility. And it could be on both sides. Shout out to ISET for the follow, man. Much love and appreciation, man. Welcome to the family. But, uh, uh, soul ties, yeah. But, uh, uh, it re- creates a responsibility that neither of them are ready for or neither of them want. You know, that's why the father leaves and the mother either, or the, and the mother is struggling to raise the child on her own. You know, sometimes the mother, the grandmother won't even step in to help sometimes because the grandmother's like, no, you, 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 you did this and now this is your responsibility, which is understandable because it was your choice to, to lay down with that person. Women can't be loyal to their husband because they got a lot of ties out here with other gremlins. That's 100% facts and not opinion. That's why a lot of people are prone to cheating. But, um, and, and, and if, if that don't happen, then the father will drive the mother to the clinic to get rid of the baby, you know? There's a lot of stuff that goes on out here that's, that's, that's crazy, man. And, and, and parents will do whatever they need to do for their children who, who love their children, who want to be with their children. And in this case, this man is legally changing his uh, gender identity because the, the system where he's at favors women over men. And this is something that shouldn't even be happening in the first place anyways because a man is just as much of a parent as a woman is. A father is just as much of a parent as a mother is. Just like a mother is just as much of a parent that the father is. Keep up the good work, my my guy. I got to go now. Yeah, appreciate you for tapping in, man. Shout out to Anthony Dewberry Clips. Y'all go follow go follow that account right now, man. Shout out to Anthony Dewberry. I need everybody to go click on his name and go tap the follow button, man. Tap the bell button, too. He got a lot of good content that goes out, man. I think y'all would like what he do. But, yeah, man, a father is just as much of a parent as a mother is. And this whole uh, this whole thing of, of, of favoring mothers over fathers has got to stop. Unless you are proven... Uh, what, what What's the word? I think... Clinically, I, I think that's the right word. Unless you are clinically proven to be unstable and unfit for being a parent, then yes. But that's 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 the only thing that I could see that I could understand why you'd be taken away from your own children. That's the only thing that I could see and understand as to why you'd be taken away from your own children. Other than that, if you are a good father, you know you're a good father, and you've proven that you're a good father, you need to have just as many just as much rights to your children as the mother does and it, 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 it's a shame man it's a shame and it sucks but at the end of the day you're just one man what can you do except point out the goofiness you know and with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get up on out of here man i got things that i gotta take care of i will be right back with the last episode of the night later on tonight probably around like 11.30, maybe, maybe, maybe later. We'll say anywhere from 11.30 to 12.30. We'll just say that because I don't know what else I got going on. I got to figure that out. But I appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. Make sure y'all tap the follow and the bell button if y'all like what you see and like what you hear. And also share with your uh, friends, your families, your mummies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know. And I am out of here, man. I appreciate every single one of y'all for tapping in. Deuces.